So far we have uh, learned a lot about edge impulse. We have created a model uh, which recognizes a different kind of gesture which includes left and right gesture. Now we are going to deploy our model onto uh, our device which is nothing but uh, Seed Studio ESP32 S3. Let us have a look at how to do it. The first thing you have to do is you have to download this library. So uh, just we have to click on this build button and uh, uh, I think we have already done it. Uh, we have to just download the library. Uh, I think library is downloaded. So as you can see here, uh, there is a zip file by name of our project which is nothing but left right gesture inferencing this we have to add as a arduino library on our arduino id so first we will add it uh, from the arduino you have to just go to the arduino id here and uh, you have to uh, sketch oh sorry oh, tools oh sorry sketch include library here uh, there is an option by name add.zip library which you have to select and you have to select the zip file that have we have downloaded already. Hmm. So it is being processed. We are going to uh, do a code walkthrough also now. Uh, So library has been successfully installed. Now next step is to uh, we have to uh, write a code uh, which is uh, capable of uh, taking this inference uh, files and uh, running the inference on the device. Uh, for that what we have to do is we have to uh, get a uh, ready made uh, we have to download a ready made code which has been already written uh, and it is shared on a git repo. Uh, that will show you. Uh, so how do we I go to this? Is there any link or something? So there is a git repository by name shao esp32 s3 sense to which uh, in which uh, we have uh, this uh, uh, specific uh, code uh, this is a file name that you have to uh, download Xiao ESP32 S3 sends MPU6050 underscore accelerometer dot INU. Uh, so dot INU, INU represents a Arduino file. So we are going to just take this sample and make our modifications to this file. Uh, just uh, download it please. So remember this is a uh, basic code that is available on the github repository uh, just uh, you can go and refer the links for that we will share you uh, the links Uh, so this is the basic code uh, used for gesture recognition uh, so the first step we are going to do is we are going to replace the first header file which is our inference uh, uh, library with our own uh, inference which is left and right just a recognition Okay, this seem to be our library. Uh, so this is the uh, header file name that we have to provide. The next step is uh, uh, as usual we have included the i2c dev.h mpu6050 and wire.library. As you know i2c is for uh, uh, connecting to a i2c device and uh, we have to use a i2c communication protocol uh, to communicate to mpu6050. Uh, uh, this is a, another MPU6050 library. Uh, now uh, this wire.h will have to be used to initialize the bus uh, of uh, any I2C device. Uh, 
so i mean it is a, a in the previous code also we are uh, using the same thing just scroll down so uh, it is uh, similar to the previous program but uh, we are uh, making some changes to it scroll down scroll down so if you remember uh, we are uh, using a similar code which is uh, already been used for uh, uh, reading the values from the mpu 6050 uh, it is a similar code now uh, we have to make our changes to it the next change that we have to make is uh, we have to change the offset values in the setup function uh, we are going to change the setup uh, the offset values for individual axis of the mpu 6050 uh, uh, for accelerometer and gyroscope uh, remember we have to always make these changes uh, according to our device because uh, you may be using some other device, I may be using some other device. Uh, the, uh, the calibration values will vary according to the device. Uh, so, uh, please change these values now. So, these values we have figured out uh, while calibration. Um, we know those values, so we are changing the, those values. now we have changed those values uh, i think uh, uh, we have made enough changes now i think we can directly uh, try compiling it while it is being compiled i'll uh, uh, do the walkthrough so as usual you have to choose your uh, uh, board and your port number So we have started uploading, so first it will compile and then upload. Uh, until it uh, compiles, uh, we are will go through this code again. Uh, just uh, here, uh, as you can see, uh, you have to go to the loop function now. So this is our main uh, function where we collect the sample and do the inference. I mean, uh, uh, this is a uh, this is a continuous process as we are using the loop method. Uh, loop runs every microsecond uh, until we have a put keep a delay or something here. Uh, so as you can see here, uh, the first statement is uh, edge impulse printf. Uh, we have added a delay of two seconds. After that. Uh, we are uh, starting the sampling. Once you uh, get this message sampling uh, on your serial monitor, uh, remember we have to always connect the device while uh, executing this, okay? While uploading this, after we are complete uploading, uh, we have to check for this text which is sampling. So after we uh, start the sampling, then uh, here we are creating a buffer array uh, which is nothing but a float array uh, the input frame size is a constant which has been already mentioned in the code uh, so this is usually to uh, it is a kind of buffer where we have different set of values uh, for individual axis uh, this is defined by the edge impulse itself so we are just uh, using it as a constant here uh, the frame size is uh, uh, constant. Now uh, just scroll down. So as you see here, uh, uh, for every uh, there is uh, 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 there is this uh, get acceleration method IMU dot get acceleration method where we are uh, getting the values in real time. Uh, 
that is our acceleration x, acceleration y and acceleration z and uh, we are storing it in the buffer. Uh, so it is a sequential data, uh, the first three values uh, uh, in the array will have acceler uh, accelerometer x, accelerometer y and accelerometer z and so on it will be going on. So it is a uh, continuous uh, uh, array buffer which we store. Uh, just scroll down. So uh, here uh, again we are remember uh, whatever raw data we are getting we have to convert it to meters per second square uh, for which uh, we are using this method where it converts uh, the raw data into meters per second uh, for all the individual uh, uh, accelerometer values. Next. Uh, 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 okay, this is just uh, we are uh, uh, converting the value. I mean, there is a conversion here again, uh, which is uh, uh, which tells us whether uh, if there is any accepted range, uh, the values are uh, in the accepted range or not, it will tell us. Now, scroll down. So now uh, uh, here what we are uh, trying to do is there is a numpy library uh, which uh, takes the buffer input uh, and it converts it into a signal. Uh, so it is important uh, for our model to convert the raw data into a signal and then it will start classifying uh, whether it is a left gesture or a right gesture. Uh, as you can see here, this signal from buffer method has uh, uh, three inputs. The first one is our buffer. Buffer is uh, nothing but our accelerometer values x, y, z and the second one is the input frame size which is a constant which is being defined by edge impulse. The third one is our uh, signal. Uh, uh, signal is nothing but our uh, 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 signal it is a uh, signal uh, after that if uh, we are getting any error then it will stop over here uh, then the next thing is we have to run the classifier our classifier uh, which uh, run class there is a run classifier method which has been developed by edge impulse uh, so for this classifier method uh, uh, we have to give the signal and uh, there is a result uh, object that you have to create which is uh, uh, which is a custom object uh, of edge impulse edge impulse uh, result underscore t uh, so it is uh, basically returning a numpy kind of array uh, so, so that we store the entire result uh, returned by the classifier method uh, and after that if there are any errors again there is uh, uh, error uh, 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 if there is any error it will stop over here just scroll down so as uh, we can see here uh, after we run the classifier we are uh, just going to iterate the result and we are going to print the uh, labels for identified for that particular gesture. So in case of anomaly also we are able to print uh, the score of the anomaly. Uh, now uh, this is the main place where we are able to uh, see whether it is a what kind of gesture we have done. The, uh, result dot classification of uh, the result uh, which is nothing but uh, some array and there is a label. So this will print us uh, if whether it is a left gesture identified or right gesture in other case uh, it can be ideal or some other thing with the uh, what is it called. Uh, the score, the value, how much probability is there for this particular gesture. Let us say left gesture and its uh, 
probability is 0 0.69 or something then uh, of course it is a left gesture that has been identified uh, so it is a pretty simple code that uh, tells us how to uh, uh, iterate the array and uh, find what kind of gesture has been uh, done by the user so we are now able to successfully upload our uh, uh, Edgeimpulse model and we have deployed it onto our ESP32 S3. Um, just uh, expand this window. Uh, so as you can see, uh, we are able to upload it. So now uh, we are ready for showing you a demo now. Uh, So as you can see, um, Edge Impulse inferencing demo has started. So it, uh, as I said, uh, the sampling is a continuous process, uh, which will happen, uh, keep on going for every two seconds it is uh, recording. Uh, so we will just show you a gesture and uh, see the results on our serial monitor. Uh, so please uh, focus on that device. Uh, we are going to make a gesture so sampling has started whenever there is a message called sampling then you have to start yeah please start the gesture so please observe carefully he is doing a L gesture So uh, uh, please see this, whenever he is making a left gesture, the probability of uh, uh, the prediction is changing here. So here uh, we have got, so here we have got 0.77 which is a good uh, probability for left gesture. Uh, we will do it again for the right gesture. So it, this is a continuous process of uh, sampling and uh, running inference for that particular sample. Uh, so as you can see here there is a 0.91 probability of uh, it being a right gesture. So again, he has made the gesture again. So we are able to get 0.9 probability, which is a good score. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is how we have to capture the gestures and uh, we have to uh, uh, identify the particular gesture. Uh, also, uh, in case you are doing uh, some other gesture, it is going to detect and give you an anomaly score. Now, just focus on this uh, device. He is making some random uh, gesture, uh, which is an anomaly, which is nothing but an anomaly. So, as you can see, there is a change in the anomaly score here, which is uh, uh, quite big. So now after uh, we are done with this uh, gesture recognition, then uh, we are going to show you how to integrate it with the backend, which is nothing but our drone kit SITL that is that will be in the next session.